Hey, so I am back today with some more stuff. So, uh, let's just show it, shall we? Okay. So, the first thing, I, as you can see, I laid out some stuff so I don't have to pull stuff out of bags. Because it just gets annoying sometimes. Um, this purse charm, it is <clears throat> Kathy Van Zeeland. That looks like. Again, um, everything is $4 each. So, um, refer to a timestamp and brief description and let me know. So, there's the first one. Put stuff over there. Um, I have this Premier Design ring. Silver tone. Faux turquoise. And then the mark is right inside there. <clears throat> because it's thicker, the size. Uh, I'm going to say it's seven and a quarter for that one. That's that one. Uh, this sparkly little bracelet. <clears throat> Rhinestones, everything is there. It's got a little um, fold over clasp. I think this might be. Was this signed? No, it's not. Let me measure it. Everything with little prongs likes to grab onto these little gloveys. Come on, little guy. Well, for crap, there we go. Okay, don't touch it. <clears throat> it is seven inches. So that's the next one. I put under the light so it looks sparkly. Really cute. So it's that one. Um, do a necklace. This gold tone is Napier. I'll measure it quick. It's got a fold over clasp. And it is. Um, 18, 18 and a quarter overall length. Put it on the neck so you can see it. That's what that one looks like. There's the full lower clasp. It says uh, Napier on the inside of the clasp there. I can show it if need be. I don't know if it's going to show up on here though. You can see it right there. It says Napier. So that's that one. So it's about a nine inch drop. And then what else? I have a pair of earrings. <clears throat> it's kind of oval hoops. I thought maybe these would be sterling, but they did not test sterling. But they're cute either way. Let's see if I can. That's what those look like. Okay. Um, there are a couple of rings here. Here's a um, one of those wrap bracelets. It's like red and brown tone. <clears throat> I 
pretty heavy, I think. I think those are stone. Not sure what kind. And then I think they're red. I thought maybe they were glass, but do you think these are hematite? <clears throat> gives it a little bit of weight to it so that would be that so again that's a one of those wraps it's got the button closure and then <clears throat> three different loops on that so that is that one and then the stretchy um, five strand faux pearl glass glass pearl bracelet. It's really cute. It's got two of these gold tone bars to keep them separated, which is nice. So that's that one. Really pretty. This is a Chico's, I believe. I've got the hook hooked into the It's got a super long extender on it. I'm not sure why. Even the Okay, so this is one end. It's got the lobster claw on it. Here's your Chico's tag. Goes from here, so it's three strand, and then the other end has this big long. So I'm not sure. Just makes it. You can make it even longer if you wanted to. Let me. And you can even take some of those links off if you needed to. Let me put it on the neck here. It's hard to get it on there because the... Well, it's not hard to get it on there. It's hard to keep it on there, I should say. Just because those are so long. That's what that one looks like. It's probably better just to lay it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. That's what that looks like. I said it is three layers and then move these out of the way. <clears throat> this is the extender on there and then this is the hook so um it's kind of it would be kind of hard to measure it but it's really nice like i said it does chico's it's in great condition silver tone and brass tone <clears throat> it here so you can see and it's got some decent weight to it it's definitely not not made cheap so that's that one if anyone's interested in the chicos and i have another ring this one's rose gold it is a size nine in perfect condition. Okay. So that is that one. And this bracelet, low cuff, brass tone, and then with Oh, I 
forget what this blue is. With the gold flecks in it. I forget. But that's what that one looks like. Really pretty. I wore this one a couple times because it's cool. <clears throat> That's what that one looks like on. Um, I don't have it on my wrist wrist. So I'm a six and a half and that's where it sits on my wrist. Why is my lighting all of a sudden weird? Maybe it was always weird. I'll boil off. You can hear it's an ice cream truck. Uh, give me a break. Anyways, that's what that one looks like. <clears throat> and another ring. And this one. It's been so long since I looked at these, I don't remember what it's. Said. I think it says China. I'm pretty sure it says it's 925, but it is not. It's a liar. Anyway, it's really pretty. Silver tone with a black stone with those two little stars. It is a size 8. Really, really good condition. <clears throat> That's that one. Okay. And I did find one more of the necklaces that I made. Mm-hmm. I'll just put it in like Why did my light all of a sudden get weird? <clears throat> so gold tone uh with like a pink um cat eye bead and then it's a pearl white color. I'll just hold it like this so you can see the colors, hopefully. It's really pretty. And then um, I'll measure the length of it with the opening. The way I made these, um, it's got this little, so here's your charm. It's got this little thing here. Um, you just pull it back and pull that off, put it back on to take it on and off. So that's that one. And it is <clears throat> it is a ten and a half inch drop on that one. Really pretty. And some glass pearls. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So it's definitely glass. Put this one on your neck. Really pretty color, knotted in between. And then it has a barrel clasp. <clears throat> And this one measures um, eight and a quarter inches. So that's that one. And then this one, I believe the name is Luca and Danny. There's the the mark 
and it's adjustable so you just slide this up and down and you can make make the little crystals you know different levels silver tone here's the crystals is that one backwards come on the crystals are so pretty so I've held on to it for so long. This is another one I've had forever. Just look at the crystals on it. I want to remember I read somewhere that Luke and Danny did, um, is it Luke and Danny? Something like that. Um, there's no closure on it. It's just uh, over the head. Some of their stuff did have the Swarovski um, crystals. So these very well could be i'm not real sure so that's that one and then <clears throat> i have this watch it is working gold tone that's the back and then oh, if i knew what i was doing put that in there Close it down and then close that down. And that's what that one looks like. Very nice. I bought this for myself, wore it a couple times, but some of this stuff that you'll see is um, maybe if I purchased it from you, it's just a, we all do a, a, like a catch and release. We'll get something for ourselves, wear it for a little bit, and then offer it to someone else. This is one of them. It's really pretty. So that is it. Um, it is adjustable, obviously. What does that say on there? There's some kind of name on it. Is that G. Kagan or S. Kagan? S. Kagan? Something like that. Of course, it's probably on the face, too. <laughs> or it's just Skagen, Denmark. Not sure. But as you can see, it's in a really good condition. Um, and that is the correct time, because it is 10 after 2 here in Tennessee. <clears throat> so I think that's it for today. I had this one out too, um, if anybody's interested in it, but it will need to be um, restrung. Um, but it's really heavy metal, really pretty, stretchy. Um, if nobody's interested in it, I'll just keep it and I'll probably redo it myself and wear it because for some reason... I love these kind of bracelets. I'm not sure why I like that that wide um watch it break now. That wide um uh pearl bracelet. I just like it a lot for some reason. Anyways, that is it for today and I might come back on tonight. Um, and yeah, let me know if there's anything you're interested and I'll see you next time.